accomplish here is to demonstrate a couple of means of control of variable frequency drive and also to demonstrate the PID control that's built in the drive itself. Starting uh, looking over our equipment list here, we have our PLC, the TSX Premium PLC um, with the Ethernet communications. This does not actually do the uh, PID control and also we're only just doing the, the P and the I part of the derivative in the control. But anyhow, the PLC doesn't do that. It mainly handles commands to, to the drive and also the, the processes the communications and so forth uh, to and from the drive. Uh, moving down, we have a Modicon Magellus, uh, an HMI, and this is communicating over Ethernet to the PLC. This is where we're actually giving most of the commands to the drive and doing the monitoring. On the screen here, we're able, as far as monitoring, to look at the output frequency of the drive, also the motor speed, and then we get an indication of the motor torque. Here we have start-stop push buttons to actually get start-stop the drive. And we have some enunciators here as far as if the drive is ready for a fault and also if it's running or not. We have the reference frequency here, which is what, we're, what the drive is being told to run at, and that will come from the PI controller. Here in the middle we have a bar graph on which we set our set point for the PI demonstration. And then for feedback, um, we have this, which this little red rectangle here will float in here depending on where the object is that is, uh, is uh, being controlled. Over on the right hand side, we have some push buttons here. What we on top here is select command channel. This is where we tell the drive where to get its commands. If we have the network button pushed, which is uh, the enunciator showing it's on network command right now, uh, we're using the PLC in the touch screen. If we have local, if we push local here, now we're going to jump ahead a moment to the drive itself and specifically this box in the bottom of the drive. This is what we consider our local control here. And the drive in local command will be turned on and off with that selector switch. I'll back up here, we'll start out in network. Our mode is either going to be PID or manual. PID, as it says, the, uh, the PI controller in the drive is going, to con is going to control the speed of the motor. If we win the manual, that'll be direct control of the drive output frequency with the speed pot on the local control box. And down at the bottom, our PID set point. We can either choose, which on network right now, by using the bar graph here <clears throat> on the touch screen. If we hit local, now the speed pot on the local box underneath the drive, now instead of just being a speed pot, it becomes our set point. It sets the set point and then the drive controls the motor speed to maintain the, the bottle in the tube, which you'll see here momentarily. In fact, moving on to the drive now, this is an Autovar 71 drive. And as I've said, it has a PID controller built into it, which we are going to be utilizing. And the drive, by the way, communicates with Ethernet with the touchscreen and the, and the PLC. The drive is running this motor, uh, which the motor then is connected to kind of homemade affair here with a blower. And on top of the blower, there's a clear plastic tube. Inside the tube, there's a pill bottle and a ping pong ball. We go for high tech stuff around here. The idea of the demonstration is, is to have the drive run the motor, which uh, depending on the speed of the blower that the motor is running, will determine where in this tube that the pill ball and the ping pong ball will float. Now for PI control, uh, that's a, it's a control that needs feedback. So to get the feedback up on the top of this tube, we have an ultrasonic sensor. The sensor is able to detect you know, where in the tube the pill bottle is, and then it gives a, 20, a four to 20 milliamp signal in proportional to where the uh, pill bottle is in the tube, sends that 4 to 20 signal to the drive for feedback. And then the drive um, essentially mirrors that um, feedback signal to on the display so we can we have an indication on the display where the pill bottle is. That's pretty much the, dem or the equipment list here. And what we'll do is we'll go into the demonstration itself. Right now, this, uh, by the way, the set point is divided. Um, it's on a scale of one to a thousand. That's just a kind of handy range to work with. 
Right now the set point is set at 400 out of the thousand. We'll go ahead and start it. Okay, so the pill ball is floating now at about 400. This, uh, this is actually a uh, really touchy application here. That pill bottle uh, it takes very little change to speed that blower and move that pill bottle around. So that PI controller in that drive is pretty busy. So right now we have the drive, uh, or we should, have, I should say we have the pill bottle floating about 400. And we'll change the set point. All I have to do is touch here. We get a, we get a keypad. I'll set it to, say, 800. Oops. Try again. 8. Zero, zero. Enter. Now our set point is changed, and then the drive will adjust the speed and get that pill ball up there to 800. Okay, we'll just touch it again here. We'll run it up to 900 out of that. Right down. Uh, to demonstrate now how a PI controller can make up for a change in airflow. I'll just put this for sure over the fan. And if you're able to see the screen, you're able to see that the uh, controller now is, or the drive is running faster to make up for the loss of airflow. Now we'll just abruptly pull that away. Kind of an extreme situation, but the PI controller caught that, which it should do. All right, now uh, demonstrate a little bit of the uh, control capabilities of the drive and our setup here. Right now we're in network control. Now we're in local. So now to turn the drive on and off, we have to turn the selector switch on. And then for our set point, I'll put it local. Now the speed plot, or what we were calling the speed plot, is actually our set point controller now. So we'll just turn that here a little bit, change the set point. Wind her up a little bit. All right, so that shows that. And then, as far as mode is concerned, we'll hit manual here. Now, our speed pot is actually a speed pot that has direct control of the speed of the drive. The drive is not using the PID controller at all for speed. It's, uh, like I said, it's coming directly. Speed reference is directly from the speed pot. We'll put everything back on uh, network command, PID mode. And our set point will come from the network. It's back where we had started. Shut her down here. And that's our demonstration.